Okay, here we are uh, looking at a 1989 Amada Fine Alpha Bender, 50 ton, 6 foot. This is a 1989 machine with an NC9EX2 control in it. It's uh, very good condition. It's wired for 460 volts. It's got uh, the NC90X2, which is a very uh, good control, very desired control. And I have a, a three-step program with a repeat, so it's actually four steps um, in, the, in the machine right now. So on the step one, I'm using a repeat. Let's see, we'll zoom in on the back gauge. See what's going on here. That's the first step. You're gonna hear a beep. And then the second step. You hear a beep. Now we'll go to our second step after the repeat. That's a retract using the back gauge retracting. And that's step three. So we'll do it one more time. We'll cycle through it. Machine runs nice and smooth, nice and quiet. Uh, the speeds are good. The uh, left to rights are good. Zero bounces look good. Sometimes when the machine gets moved and goes to a different voltage, even though it's the same voltage per se, it's in a different area. Sometimes we have to retune it. The pots are very sensitive on these, so sometimes the zero balance has to be retuned. But that's very minor stuff, and it is part of the installation. Uh, any good technician knows that. And uh, that's about it. It's got the uh, one-touch holders on it, which are really nice. Uh, they're rather pricey, actually. It has um, these one-touch holders. They come with uh, clamps. It's a dual-sided clamp, as you can see. So you can, if you want to flip a tool, you want to put a tool in, Just put it in this way on the front, and if you want to flip it around the back, you just flip it this way. So it works very nice. It's a nice, uh, nice setup. And uh, that's that's it. There you go. Ready to go.